Hello and welcome to a new episode of Project Utopia and this week in the news. So what's been happening? Well, we have um, James Dyson who has moved um, the Dyson headquarters from uh, the UK to uh, Singapore because of Brexit. And um, this has raised a lot of um, talk about businesses and the idea that a lot of businesses are fleeing or not investing in the UK because of Brexit. Now, who do we blame? Because some people blame the businesses. Um, however, they are simply doing what businesses do, you know. Businesses are there to make money and invest and one of the key things is uncertainty. Now, to use an analogy, we have to travel back to the 1920s of America, uh, specifically October 1929 with the Wall Street crash. Now, there's a lot of things that attribute the Wall Street crash. Now, one of the main reasons was this whole underlying fear and hysteria around economic uncertainty. A lot of people with their stocks were worried because they were decreasing value, so they sold their stocks, meaning that the banks couldn't get the money together quick enough for them to satisfy the people who were selling. And so then the banks collapsed and blah, blah, blah. Everything happened. Now... The reason why I say this is because this fear and hysteria about over economics is the exact same that's happening now. There's a lot of uncertainty created around Brexit, whether it's going to be a no deal or a hard or soft Brexit. And the problem is, is that this is affecting businesses. Now, um, there's certain historiography around the Wall Street crash that says that if in fact people did nothing and just stuck stuck with their stocks the banks wouldn't have collapsed and the depression wouldn't have been as bad as it was and that down to this uncertainty it then caused this massive problem in Europe and the world and America and this is the same here. If we didn't have this projected uncertainty and hysteria in things like media and um, specifically now with social media, you know, everyone is a news outlet of their own. Um, if we didn't have all these issues and we were just calm and we just looked at the straight facts and we just tried our best of what we can do and work together you would take away this fear and hysteria and leave a calm environment which would give economic stability. This would result in things like the currency not devaluing and business investment not decreasing. When you have uncertainty, people don't want to invest. That's how it goes. So you have people like Dyson who move their headquarters. Dyson is not to blame in this situation. Who is to blame? is well in fact kind of everyone all the people who project and give out this fear and uncertainty and we're only human that's something that we do all the time but if we were able to reduce and control and just accept that this is what's happening we don't have all this political issues of people um kind of wanting second referendum second no confidence votes, all these different things and having this political weakness, it means the economy wouldn't have um, taken the, the fall that it did. So how can we recover from this? What can the future hold? Well, essentially, if we either... What we need to do is create a deal that works and that will bring businesses back or if we are unable to then we need to stop fueling this fear and hysteria and it's down to the people to do that you know and also media to do that 
BBC News, Sky News, it's okay reporting things, of course. You know, the idea of media is to report things and to inform us. But the problem is adoration and fear fueling. Now, I'm not here saying about, you know, being Trump and saying fake news all the time. But, and you know, because it isn't fake news but it is exaggerated to an extent which causes fit and hysteria. If people were calmer, there wouldn't be these problems and we would be able to sustain a stable economy and business investment. What we need at the moment, if we are to recover from things like the crash of 2008 um, and this economic stability is actually have more economic investment and more business uh, investment. So, thank you for this week's episode. Remember to look at the website, all our manifesto and stuff, and watch our previous videos. Um, thank you to all, everyone who supports us. We couldn't do this without you. And remember to revolt, reform, and rebuild. So, thank you very much. <laughs>